So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import and use images in Pygame. So as you can see, there are some timestamps on the right side of your screen. So you can just skip around and see exactly what you came for. So as you can see on the screen right now, I have an image that has a galaxy on it and it's covering the entirety of my Pygame screen. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to make in this video. So stick around, watch till the end, figure out how to do it, and I hope you have a good time. With that being said, let's just dive straight in and let's learn how you can use images in Pygame. All right, so let's just go into Visual Studio Code and start writing the code. Before we do anything with the actual images, what we have to do is we have to create a bunch of boilerplate, which I'll just skip through right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've created a bit of boilerplate that creates a blank white screen. So firstly, we're importing our two modules, and then we're creating the screen, and we're setting the caption of the screen to be images in Pygame. By the way, the screen is 1280 by 720 pixels big. Then we're creating our game loop with a while loop and we're saying for every event in pygame.event.get. So we're just cycling through all the events. If we have quit the game, then we should exit pygame and exit sys. And then we are filling the screen with white to make it blank. And we are saying pygame.display.update just to display the screen. Now, if we go ahead and run our code, what you'll see is a blank white screen with the caption images in pygame. So now we can get our image and we can actually put it on the screen. And to do this, we have to create two things. The two things are a surface and a rect. A surface is just the image that we want, which is going to be this galaxy image. And the rect is going to be a rectangle that goes around it that lets Pygame get a bunch of information and check for collisions and all of that stuff. But for now, we're just going to use it to change the position of our image. So let's go ahead and create those two things. The first thing is going to be the surface. And to create a surface in Pygame, you have to do it like this. Firstly, you have to create a name for your surface. So this is going to be just Galaxy. And then you have to assign it to pygame.image.load. So this load function takes in a path for the image you want and then converts it to a Pygame surface. And the path is going to be galaxy.jpg because this galaxy.jpg is in the same folder as my source.py file. But if it was in a different folder for you, then you can just reference that folder before the path name. Next, let's create the rect. To create a rect, you have to say galaxy rect, or whatever you want the rect name to be, is equal to galaxy. And then the function we're going to use is get underscore rect. And as you can tell by the name, this just puts a rect around our galaxy image. Now we have to specify where we want the center of our image to be. So we want the center of our galaxy image to be at the position 0, 0. So we want the x position to be at 0, and we want the y position to also be at 0. What this will do is it will take the center of our image, so the exact center, and it will put it at the top left of Pygame screen, because the top left of Pygame screen is at 0, 0. That's how the coordinate system works in Pygame. 0, 0 is the top left, and 1280 by 720, or whatever your dimensions are, are the bottom right. All right, now we have those two variables done, and we can actually put our image on the screen. And we'll do that in the main game loop. So we'll say screen.blit, and the blit function just puts a surface on another surface, or a screen. And then we have to put in our surface and our rect. So our surface is going to be galaxy, and our rect is going to be galaxy rect. And you can actually substitute this galaxy rect with a tuple that says your position, so like 0, 0 or something like that. But for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to make a rect, so I'm going to use galaxy rect. And we are done. If we run the code again, we will get our window with our image. But as you can see, this image is cut off because we specified that the center of our image would be at the top left. And since this image is 1280 by 720 pixels big, the center will be where it's going to cut off. So only one quarter of the image is showing. As you can see here, this rectangle is literally just one quarter of the image. The other 75% is cut off. It would be somewhere around there. To fix this, it's really simple. You can just go in here and you can edit this keyword argument. This center variable is called a keyword argument. And I actually have a tutorial on that. If you check out my functions video in the beginners Python series, it's in the top right right now. You can go check that out and you can learn what a keyword argument is. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to glance over it and I'll change it to 
top left. So now we are saying the top left of our image is going to be at zero, zero instead of the center. Since we've changed it like this, what's going to happen is the entire image is going to show because we want the exact top left to be at zero, zero. So we want the top left of our image to be at the top left of the screen. Now, if we run this for another time, we're going to get the same thing, except our image is actually not going to be cut off. It's going to display the entire image and it's going to put it all the way through on the screen before it just had a, th a fourth of it, but now it has the entire image. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can always play around with this and you can use it for your own Pygame project. So if you found this helpful in any way for your Pygame projects, then please consider hitting the like button because it really helps. And if you really liked it and you want to see more Pygame and programming videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a new video. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, this has been Lartech signing out. Have a good day. Thank you.